in recognition of its archival value in providing historians with multi-generational testimonies of Ukrainian Canadian women whose personal stories were shaped by the tumultuous events of two world wars, the Peterson Literary Fund 2023 Translated Book Award is presented to the extraordinary lives of Ukrainian Canadian women, oral histories of the 20th century, translated from the original Ukrainian into English, Iruida Winitsky, editor, Marta Olinik, chief translator, published by the Canadian Institute of Ukrainian Studies Press. This This collection of life stories recounted by 10 Ukrainian Canadian women who lived through the turbulence of the First World War and horrors of the Second World War and later settling in Canada provide insight into the plight of a stateless people caught between two totalitarian regimes. Its value to historians, scholars and researchers lies in the human dimension of these first-hand accounts with all their emotions deep-seated memories, and historical biases. It's a snapshot into the past and a reminder of how far Eastern and Central European communities have come to heal the deep wounds of war. And in many ways, the testimonies are a lesson in how powerlessness, disaffection, and the backdrop of war can breed prejudice, conflict, and human tragedy, while at the same time, underscoring the often elusive acts of human decency and the triumph of hope. Accepting the award is the book's editor, Iruida Vinitsky. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, Lesha has already said everything about my book, so I don't think I have to say much. All what I have to say is just to say thank you, thank you for the jury for, il for selecting our book for this prestigious award. Uh, I would also like to thank, where do is my thank yous? Oh, here it is. Uh, I would like to, uh, uh, yes, I think Leslie already said that, that it has the, <laughs> The collection has an oral history, uh, besides having an academic and literary value, it has also an important social mission. It can be and should facilitate intergenerational communication in Ukrainian families by helping the offsprings of Ukrainian emigre women in Canada to learn more about their grandmothers and great-grandmothers. I personally have gifted this book to my grandchildren so that they may get a better understanding of the life and times of their great grandmother. <clears throat> okay, some more thank yous. Yes, I know, but you said everything, Lesia, so I have very little to say. Uh-huh. And now I would like to express my gratitude to the many, many individuals who donated their efforts as interviewers, transcribers, translators, editors, correctors, and above all, supporters. May I stress, stress that also we owe our sincere gratitude to the interviewee who generously shared their sometimes happy but often painful life stories. So I humbly, humbly accept this award in the name of all the contributors to the publication of the Extraordinary Lives of Ukrainian Canadian Women. I'm sorry, I